Today's Swift Zwift tip. A recent update to Zwift has seen a little map appear in the top right hand corner of the screen. Well, it's an enhanced map to what was there before. Today we'll run through what it's all about, how you can click on it to find your way around Watopia, Richmond and the other courses that may be coming up soon. Okay, here we are in game and the update has taken place. You can see here, actually we're just passing ex-pro Maddie Lloyd. G'day Maddie. Okay, through the start finish banner. And let's have a look at what's up here on the map in the top right hand corner. You can see there it's a cartoon version of what you're currently seeing on screen as is. So we've gone through the arch banner there. It also indicates where the other riders are around you, the little dots. And you've got some road indication as well. Not quite representative of the road because that looks like you can turn there on the little map, but you can't. But you can see what's coming up. Up ahead, you see a rider coming the other way there. Passing that rider there. We can see them on the screen pass us right now. So it's sort of like a mini map of what you're already seeing on screen, just from a different view. Hmm, okay. So there's a miniature version of the entire route selected there of uh, Watopia Hilly, I believe it is, the original Watopia lap. The first initial 3D screen here, which is your standard car GPS. See the bridges aren't really represented in here, so it can be a little confusing if you're just going on the map. Single click will get you to the two dimensional mode close in and a further expanded mode if you click once again. So there's three different modes in the new map. One, two, and three. And with that, if you've got enough resolution of your screen, you can actually see all the other riders around you. I believe if there's runners on the screen, they'll be a little dimmer than the bright, sparkling cyclists. We've also got the percentage grade on the very top right hand side. You can see it going up to 4%, 3%. Okay, and there we go. Going up the hill here, we can see it kick up the 7% gradient. So there's a quick overview of the new on-screen map feature for Zwift. Top right-hand corner will show you where to go. Remember, clicking three times will show you the three different modes it can be in. Choose the one you like and ride on. Alternatively, if you want to see the entire maps, a website called ZwiftGPS.com has a full map of every course on Zwift, so you can plan out a route that way as well. But for on-screen stuff, top right-hand corner will get you where you're going. Thanks for watching today's Swift Zwift tip.